What's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. Now, if you're a Gamma Dose of the Jade Giant, today's featured Hulk item is this gigantic 22 inch Mimo Hulk out of Brazil. And the review is up next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, guys. Today is a very cool Hulk item that just recently came in. This is a 22-inch Rotocast. So Rotocast is a vinyl, a soft vinyl figure that is primarily hollow, mostly not, you know, a lot of articulation at all. It's a blown cast molds and in a PVC vinyl. Very, very light, very good quality, and they're very, very popular in figures because you can make very large ones and vinyl super popular. So this company is Mimo. So Mimo's out of Brazil. They have a license of a couple of Marvel characters, widely known for their Hulk stuff. So they have a few different 22 and 24 inch Hulks. They also have a Red Hulk, a couple of different variants and colors. And then it's widely, just because vinyl is pretty, not easy to make, but very popular. Mexico has taken the mold of these Mimo figures and made it KO and like knockoff recasts of them. They're also very popular to go for a lot of money. But this one is an authentic Mimo, and I'll show you what he looks like right now. Hope you like him. So 22 inches, incredible quality. As I said, I like to get things in really, really good condition, and he's pretty much flawless, which I am very picky about. But I finally got one in great condition, and I'm very happy with it. This is a more modern Hulk. They have a Savage Hulk that I recently reviewed. And now this is the more modern version with the shorter hair and the more, not Disney inspired, but you know, the more mid 2000s Hulk type of face. This is a unique sculpt for this particular figure. It is different than the recent one I reviewed. It's about an inch shorter, completely different quality because I had the KO of the Savage Hulk and this is the authentic version. I will start at the top of the face. Very, very modern, short haircuts, very good facial proportions. I do like his face. I think it's very, very nice. I do like modern look of Hulk. Very good quality chest. I do like Mimo's artistic style for their musculature, especially for Hulk. I think they do a very, very good job. So I do like the chest. I like the abs and the ribs with the muscles over it. Lats and huge traps. Gigantic arms. So I'll show you my finger compared to that. So it's about two and three quarters inches for the biceps. Here is what the fist looks like next to mine. So a pretty big fist. Cloth pants that are stretchy. And this is definitely a better material than the previous one, but still the other one was really good. But I do like this material a little bit better. And then the calves and thighs. And we'll go into the back. Giant back, very, very nice sculpt. Absolutely love it. And overall, this is a very, very cool figure. So, for sculpts, again, I do like Mimo. I have a lot of different Rotocast figures. Usually people say bigger is better. And in this regard, compared to my other Rotocast figures, um, this one is definitely up there as one of my favorites. One day I'll do a comparison of all my Giants Rotocast Hulk figures of all different companies, and we'll see which one comes out the best. We'll do a little battle royale. With that, I think that would be interesting. But for sculpt, I will give this a 9.6. I think it's absolutely excellent. For paint, uh, paint is going to be a little bit more critical because my recent Mimo Hulk, the Savage one, the 24 inch one that I got, was the Mexican knockoff. But one thing that it came with that I was surprised about is it had a lot of black shading throughout. To my, not disappointment, but the, the actual Mimo Hulks don't have shading. They're just the rotocast vinyl plastic in the color green that they chose. So I actually like, you know, the shading of the, the Mexican bootleg a little bit better. This is a lighter green compared to the other one. Pants are a little bit darker purple compared to the other one. And again, the hair, this has a very high gloss for the hair. Good vinyl decals on the eyes, decent job on the teeth for paint. But that's pretty much all the paint you have on this. It's just the hair, eyebrows, eyes, and teeth. No shading on the feet. So if you remember the other one, it had a little bit of blacks and shading throughout the toes. 
And they had shading all throughout the muscles here and the chest. There's no paint on the nails to differentiate it. There is a good sculpt on the nail. I mean, you see the, the texturing of the nail and it looks really, really good. But no, yeah, no paint. So I do like the colors. I do like the style. I do like the pants. But I'm going to have to be pretty critical on this because there's really not much paint or shading on this. So I'll give this an 8 for paint. So you have such a wonderful sculpt and very little paint. But you can always do it yourself. You can always paint it or just do some black wash all throughout it or make it bring out. That would definitely bring this up another notch and paint the nails. You can do that manually too. I might one day do that. But these go for a pretty penny. I don't know if I really want to play around with customizing it. But I'm sure it would still sell just because the KOs, the knockoffs sell so well. For presents, this is going to get a 10. I think, I mean, it's just gigantic. It's huge. I'll do a little comparison for you now. I put this in the thumbnail, but this just gives you an idea of just how gigantic this guy is. I have to back up so far to even get him in frame. So this is about the, almost the 5 inch 90s Hulk figure. And he's about the size of Hulk's foot. Literally. He's about the size of Hulk's foot. Hulk's foot might even be bigger. But that's literally the size of him. This Hulk is just absolutely enormous and has a lot of presence to him. So the presence is definitely a 10. These are the type of figures you just want to put on a shelf, pose real nice. And he just gives off such a, a great presence. Usually people that come down and look at figures will definitely navigate to these bigger figures just because they have such good presence to them. Now I'll do articulation. I'm not even going to really put my hands on this for articulation just because there's really not much to it. You have articulation in the neck, so you can do a full 360. You have articulation in the shoulders, so you can do a full 360 on the shoulders. There is zero articulation in the arms. So again, this is rotocast. Usually rotocasts do not have articulation in those areas. There's a, a waist swivel, so I'll bring this down for you a little bit. So you can move his waist around. There is rotation right here on his hip, so you can kind of swivel his legs. But because there's no rotation in the ankles or the knees, you kind of have to have the hips in a certain way just to get the feet flat. Because when the feet aren't flat, he'll be a little off balance, and you don't want that because you don't want this guy tumbling down. Even though he's light, these type of vinyl figures, quality-wise, that I'll just jump into right now, you really don't want to play around with these too hard because they will scratch easy. And they'll be shiny. The scratch will be shiny and stand out. So the only little nick that I see on this one is right here. So that's just a little example that, you know, he's pretty much mint. And from a distance, you can't see him. But if you turn a certain direction or something, it will stand out like a sore thumb. And you can see where it might not even be actual damage. It just might be the way when it was made. But any type of scratch will be visible and will be shiny. But overall, there's really not any damage to this, which is absolutely fantastic. I do love these. Quality, I will give him. Rotocasts are very, very good quality. Just gotta, you know, handle them with care and don't knock them around. But I'm not gonna knock it too hard. I'll give it like an 8.6 for quality. So overall, so this is the way I look at these figures. So you have sculpt, paint, quality, presence. So the two biggies, this is not a toy you play with. So you're not gonna sit here and bash it with other figures, finding things of the size. You put this on the shelf, you pose it, it has amazing presence. That's what it's all about. Awesome sculpt, awesome presence. So for that, it's super high. 9.6 and a 10 for presence. 9.6 for sculpt. So for paint, again, very little paint and quality. You don't want to play with these. These are not figures to be played with. So overall, you're looking at probably like a 9.4, I would say. I would give it a little bit higher. But again, the paint quality is just not up to par compared to other things. But for presence and what it looks like, that's what matters for this type of figure. So it's absolutely amazing. Highly, highly recommend it. For sure. I'll do one more 360. Just look at that back and those huge ass calves. Huge arms, tries, buys. Look at those forearms. The vascularity in it. Huge fists. Just an absolutely awesome figure overall. So Mimo really doesn't come out with things now on what's made is pretty much what's made but in brazil when they first came out you're looking at like 50 75 dollars for the different size figures pretty rare so the authentic mimo ones oh i want to show you this as well actually so how you know it's authentic is when it has the the mimo stamp so this is licensed by marvel it actually has a trademark there's the mimo symbol and again it came out in 2015. 
So if you don't see that stamp on it, then it's it's a knockoff and it's a fake. So a knockoff fakes version of this go for like 80 bucks to $150. If you want a really, really good high quality official Mimo, you're looking at 150 to 250, depending on which style and size you get. And then if you want a box version, you're looking at three, four hundred dollars probably. That's usually what they go for for the box ones. Overall, highly recommend it. They're we're long sold out. And again, as I said in my previous video, and I'll put the link in the description at, at the bottom of the the other Mimo Hulk, the knockoff version. So you can look at that and see my thoughts on that. But the knockoffs are really, really good, honestly. You know, you really can't even tell the difference between the knockoffs and the, the authentic versions. I'll do a comparison. I'll show you different quality. A little bit slight quality in vinyl I'll give to the Mimo. But paint job, presence, I don't know. It's pretty damn close. So just keep a lookout out for any of those type of figures. Let me know if you got them or what you think of them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please Hulk smash the like button, subscribe. On a later date, I will do a versus battle against the official modern Mimo Hulk against the savage knockoff Mimo Hulk. Look out for that video. So have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. 7654321. She'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Ah!